Black History Month, so thank you all for participating in this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Um, thank you. That is math teacher Alyssa Perry at Port Charlotte High School in Port Charlotte, Florida. The reason for the door decoration was to commemorate Black History Month and a man who sacrificed everything in Colin Kaepernick. She wanted to apologize and all that, and she thanked us for being a part of it and, like, celebrating it with her. That is student Jaden Ethert, a student at Port Charlotte High School in Port Charlotte, Florida, who shared her teacher's story with the local news. I believe these boys from our school, they um, saw it and they took a picture of it and they posted on Snapchat and said it was offensive. Her tweet was even recognized by who else than Colin Kaepernick himself who retweeted it. Her tweet stating once again racism being justified. One of the teachers at our school put up a Colin Kaepernick door piece for Black History Month and the school claimed it was offensive and she was forced to take it down. There is also a photo that she replied to her own tweet with of the destroyed mural that again, her math teacher, Alyssa Perry, at Port Charlotte High School in Port Charlotte, Florida, had to take down. Another student who is Caucasian wrote, they actually took it down because a teacher complained and they validated the white teacher's concerns over the black teacher's efforts, but that's what they won't tell you. A district spokesperson said, we were getting parents complaining and everybody and we just thought we have to put an end to this. His name is Mike Riley, more on him and others in a second. And he went on to say, it's a lose, it was a lose-lose situation for us. Black History Month, so thank you all for participating in this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Um, thank you. What's befuddling to me is that this occurred on Wednesday and the end of the month, the end of Black History Month of February is on Thursday. So races come out of the dark at the last second to try and take down something that signifies so much to many people. And yet we're having conflicting stories here of whether it was the students or whether it was the teachers. Either way, the overall line of thinking is complicit. Take down something because we disagree with it. Or even as this patron says, who is in this very community. You know, if you can't respect the flag and country and you, you, you want to make political statements out of things, do it on your own time. And because you're a little offended and you disagree with someone who is standing up for an entire community of people and minorities in the United States of America, you get offended that he's bringing that to light. This is America 101. This is how it works. This is how it will continue to work unless we band together behind Colin Kaepernick and stand up for what is right, even sacrificing what we may have as he did.